That's my excited face. Let's cut right to the chase. You are extra. She's extra. <gasps> hey guys! So today we're bringing you a much requested video that all of you guys were like, we want this video next. So we listen to that? people. Yes, well, I asked someone in a recent video, I was like, what video do you want from us next? And they're like, what $100 buys you at TJ Maxx? Because Ooh, what about what $100 buys you at Gucci? <gasps> Not a lot, but I do <laughs> want to do stuff like that. <laughs> like cheapest thing at Gucci? Yes. I don't know who started it, but it was a good idea. I want to do it. And it's it's fun. I want to I wanna know what the cheapest thing is at all these places. I also want to do more like what $100 gets you here. Like yeah. I really want to go to the thrift store. Yeah, well, that, that'd that's going to be a long day. Way. It's, I'm really that's excited. a haul. Yes. That's a haul. So if you guys like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You got some sneaky pinkies on our our recent video, Come Shopping With Us at TJ Maxx. If you're following us on Instagram at 11th Gorgeous, you might have gotten some sneaky peekies there. In fact, some of you guys, I believe, realized that I was wearing something from that video in an Instagram photo. You were like, is that those? And I was like, yeah, girl. Y'all are so. the true MVPs. So make sure you're following us there. And then also hit the notification bell on here. I wanna like start doing a little pop-up thing, guys, because I saw somebody's video and it's real confusing. It's like notifications and it's like sometimes, never, always. And then like at the bottom, I don't, it says like creators posts. And I wonder if the creator posts are like. That's like, you know, sometimes people post a GIF, GIF yeah. thing. That's also. That's insane. There's a lot of choices. Yeah, so we'll put a little thing so you know what to click. Are you ready to talk I'm about ready. what others gives you? And what I will also say is, you know, sometimes the things that are at TJ Maxx are currently in other stores. Right. So we'll try to link whatever we can if you guys sometimes are Sometimes it's on the TJ Maxx website also right. because they do sell some stuff online now, which is really cool. So check down the description for any of the things. And we're also trying to get better about linking like lipsticks, nail polishes, mm -hmm. tops. This one's a throwback, y'all. These are both tops from Madison and Mallory, so we can link those for you guys. They're actually from the Facebook group though, so you want to make sure that you're following Facebook group if you want free shipping. If you don't care about free shipping, you can also purchase them on the website. Right. But if you spend enough money on the website, you're gonna get free shipping right. anyways. So. And we also have this huge 40% off going on there on like the last chance items, like things that we only have a couple pieces left of, so. Yeah, it's things that are still current. Some of them are still new. Some yeah. of them we just put out, but it's just we had one size left in that particular we're item. trying to move it out. And we're getting things moving. Because nice. we're going to market in a week. Yeah. All right, TJ Maxx. I should hold mine up because it's gigantic. Yeah. Like, Tracy's oh. like, what are they doing? <laughs> They're just, don't oh. Yeah. Tracy's gonna kick it off because while we were showing what $100 gets you, we also were showing it in different ways. So like, her $100 went a little further. Yes. Mine didn't go as far. The first thing Tracy got was. Thanks, I didn't know how to do it. This was what a, I'm here for. Thank you. This was a last minute item. I didn't take it, but it like lasted way longer than it should have, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I like to take things to their like furthest thing that they can go. Like if you're like making eye contact somebody, just like give it an extra two seconds, be like. And there will probably be a laugh. Yeah. Or an uncomfortableness, but it's so worth I it. I struggle making eye contact sometimes, guys, but it's important. <gasps> oh my God. Tangent. When I'm checking out places and I'm like doing it, I'm like, okay, yeah, thank you. And, you and I'm like, I walk away. away. No, I walk away and I go, did I make eye contact? I didn't. That was really weird. They might think I'm really strange. They might. So like sometimes I try to do it yeah. and then it goes far the other way and I'm like, thanks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. oh my God, I'm so weird. Yeah. We shop pretty much all over the stores. So we will shop from. <laughs> Why is that funny? We shop all over the store. We do. I mean, we go to the toddler baby yes. section. We go to the toys. The dog. The dog section. The cell phone section. We hit it We're all. We're even up in the kitchen section. Yes. Okay. Sometimes but, behind the counter. No, we don't do that. <laughs> Y'all, our come shopping with, with me at TJ Maxx was so eventful. You need to watch that video. There might have been some shoplifting. You, you can figure it. out who did that. So this is my first top, and this is from the brand Max Jeans, which I feel like is a I feel like it's a TJ Maxx brand, but I don't know. I don't, it's a department store. I don't know. Y'all always know more than we do about like <laughs> everything. Basic. Okay, the stores <laughs> in our town are limited. It's Belk, it's JCPenney. That's it. Like we don't have other department stores, so like if this is up in another department store, I wouldn't know because we don't have them. But like low key, high key, if we ever do that, I'm not like admiring my bosoms. Like our are. mic is there, and sometimes it feels like it's falling, and I just have to make sure like you're it's still there. Here. No, it's no. 
No! It's gone. It's so gone. terrible. So this is 1699. It says that each garment's individually died for a unique character. And so, <laughs> each garment died? Yeah, they died for that character. <laughs> this was actually a impulse purchase. I don't even think I knew Also known <laughs> as an impulse purchase. Grammar. I saw it on the rack and I was like, ooh, you cute. And I grabbed it. Okay, next. First thing I bought, I'm saving for last because <laughs> you well, just have was, to wait and see. This was the last thing I picked up. No. I'm going with, this isn't last. This was right in the middle. That one was so dang cute. This is, you really like I it. I wish I had gotten it. There's multiple ones. Are you gonna wear it at market? I don't know. I always wear a denim jacket at market. I feel like I shouldn't for like the don't reasons of it. like, I always wear a denim jacket. I have a jacket. uniform. You have a uniform? That we wear. Tank top, jacket, pants, and sandals, sure and a backpack. There it is. <laughs> Gotta be comfy when we're you're in the backpack club. Like you were shopping for like eight hours. Eight hours. For like three days. Three days. That's tw that's 24 hours of, of shopping. shopping. <laughs> it's exhausting. Do you think I care what I'm wearing? No. No, no. a little bit, but, but mostly not. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't care what I was wearing, I'd show up in a baggy t-shirt, no makeup on, but like right. I care a little bit. A little like, bit. The least amount that you can care. Sometimes we see you guys at market, which is so cool. Yeah. And sometimes we take pictures with you. I mean, if you want to take pictures with us, we do. Sometimes we see other boutiques and we're like, just kidding, no. <laughs> a little bit. But I mean like, it's not competitive, but it, some people do like make I it competitive. See I see Yeah, you. some people make it competitive. Some I, people. I, ultimately, I don't care, but like some people are like, some it's so funny. Some people block you on Instagram. I have to say, this is funny. Some people are protective over their racks at market, which we are kind of, but Only not because. in the sense, not in the sense that they don't want you to buy the same things. It's because you want to make sure you get those right. things. And if they take it and run off with it, it's gone. Then you can't find it. Especially so. at those bigger booths. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was probably worse last time than it's ever been. I think Ooh, it follow our vlog channel. We are actually vlogging a lot more now, and we'll have a vlog for market. <laughs> we uploaded one vlog. We're <laughs> vlogging a lot more no, now. We're vlogging a lot more. We haven't put them all up yet. But another one's going up soon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, the jacket. <laughs> that I got. We were like, we're gonna make it snappy. Chatty Cathy. Whatever. I'm just in a good mood. Yeah. Kind of. No, I am. Yeah. <laughs> the jacket. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I had to think about what I was gonna have for lunch. Oh. That usually makes my mood better. Yeah. I don't know why. So this is a denim jacket I got. And then the reason I mentioned Market also is because it's by the brand Love Tree, which is a brand that is a wholesaler brand. We could get it for the store. It's just a cute denim jacket. I got in a large because that was the size I saw it in first. It but has such a yummy texture. Like it's like soft. It's just a really easy and denim and I don't like stiff denim jackets that yeah. feel like this and that's another reason I like getting them in large because to get them in large they're wider in the shoulders so yeah I've got more movement and this one was only like $19.99 I took off all the tags because mom has been wearing this stuff mm -hmm. this one was only $19.99 yes Thanks. also that brand is all over TJ Maxx yes you know. speaking of wearing things I've already been rocking these two tops thoroughly enjoying them these that came in at $9.99 each okay it is from Artisan, New York. They already smell like you. Yeah? Yeah. They're these fun. Like your house. Rolled like. sleeve v neck tops. Smells like Moe. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> it's like you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now I gotta wash it. You didn't wash it yet? No, because I just bought Maybe it. Maybe it smells like TJ Maxx then. Okay, so I'm living for mustard. <laughs> you went, I'm living for mustard. I'm mu living for mustard. So cute. I don't know what it is about mustard. I don't know either. I just love it. Guys, these are just great v-necks. They aren't too tight. I got them in a size small. I believe this other thing was a size small, but I kind of wish I got in a medium. Could oh. It's a medium? Oh, it's extra small. I wish I'd gotten a small seasoned curly because it's a little snug on my arms. When do I don't you, like anything when snug do on you my ever arms. hear me say I don't that? Like that? So, mm. like, this runs a little little smaller. So, I wish I'd gotten a small because this is a woman brand. I think this is a woman brand too, as opposed to like juniors. Yeah. Okay. So. I find that juniors is a little thinner. I didn't bring my mustard and white tank top. I couldn't find it. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. It was only $4. So you know, they have a butt ton of Abercrombie tank tops because this is the second one I've gotten. No, yeah. I got a Hollister one. Hollister gray striped one last time. Right. They're like four bucks. Yeah. All the time. All the time. It's pretty nice. So it's the like creme de la creme purchase. purchase. I've already worn it. It's all kinds of wrong If you're following us out. on Instagram, you would have seen a really cute photo. The only problem is like, am I going to wear them again? Yeah. Hey, Yes. Okay, just because that Best Buy guy said that you were the second person wearing overalls. And, and the other one was a man. <laughs> I was like, oh, yay. And he's like, yeah, he had them all undone and da 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 da. And I'm like, <laughs> you just didn't even need to 
to tell me. You just yeah. didn't even need to tell me. So <laughs> it was super awkward. We got we <laughs> we. I, I got, got them. these overalls. They're from the brand Blank NYC, which is a nice brand. Yeah. And I got them in a size 26, which is kind of shocking. But I do feel like some department store denim, like free people and stuff like that, tends to run bigger. bigger yeah. Like I can wear like 26, 27 in those. Whereas like I'm not a two. Like I'm. I'm a true woman's four, I feel like, yeah. honestly. And a 26 is more like a zero two, so I don't know. Anyways, these were like $29.99. I think it's a two. And I think they were originally... Because 25 is a zero. Maybe. They were originally, I think I saw this brand of overalls for like around $100. So I don't, there was a flipping tag that said the original price and I can't remember what it was, but I want to say it was around 100, 100 to 120 and I got them for 30, so. There it is. 29, 99. Speaking of $4 tops, Oh, you got one good. I did. This is Derek Hart, which I see a lot at TJ Maxx. I think they also sell it at like Kohl's. And yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's like a department store brand. So it was only originally $6.99, but like still $4. It looked real cute under those overalls, but I kind of think I'm gonna style it like underneath a jacket. That's a lot of skin. Your little belly button can go here and go boop. Yeah, <laughs> that's not cute. Nobody wants to see mm -hmm. that. Well, if your pants are high waisted, you won't. My belly button's sad. I really liked the light baby blue, 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 blue. Your hair's still purple. I know. <laughs> it won't let it go. Mine's going fast. But it still has, it still has a pink cast. It's yeah. pretty. It's like rose gold now. Yeah. $4 tank top. Can't go wrong with that. This is another tank and it is the brand Caution to the, the Wind. Wind. That is a brand related to another brand. It's a boutique brand. That's news to me. Really? Yeah. So Specific something? But it's this fun, like haltery style tank. It's eyelet details. It was just fun and summery. It's got a little peplumy ruffle. I mean, not really peplum, it's just kind of like a ruffle detail. And it ties at the neck. It's important to know that TJ Maxx is not just like a, it's not like an end retailer, like where all things go to die because like they couldn't sell them or anything. Right. Like I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx purchases some of their stuff, yeah. which is why you'll see so many duplicates and it's not just like one or two of a kind. Yeah. Like they have boutique brands in there that I believe they purchased, but then they have their Abercrombie and their Hollister and Blank NYC that they probably just got because the store didn't. Myself. Well, I mean, the store sells them to them, I think. Yeah. At a discounted price. So, this is my biggest purchase find. It is a, I think it's called a Mab tote by Rebecca Van Gogh. You had the like, smaller one. I did. Doesn't it say, like, yes. Mab. Yeah. Medium Mab tote. Yeah. I have the small black one of this and I love it, but I feel like this one would be really good for either a day that you need to carry a lot, going in here to the office, or like traveling. You could put like your that. laptop in there. That's what I was saying, like That'd a carry on type cute. thing. Yeah. I wish that it had like a laptop sleeve, but it does not. Uh, this thing was on clearance for $59. I thought it was $59. It's definitely $59. It was originally $99.99 at TJ Maxx, and the original price was $265. Holy cow. So, and it's that fun, like, I think they call it like a ditzy floral. I don't know. Flowers almost look like little eyelashes. Aw, fun. It's really fun. But I figured this would oh, wait. be. wait, I thought it was navy. It says black, but I don't see black. I see navy. I see navy 100%. What the heck? I Here, don't... put this up to yeah, it. It's not black. I see navy. I see navy too, and I don't know if it's the sheen, but yeah. I swear it's navy. I saw it in the store that it said black, but I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you caddy. Yeah. I'm gonna call you navy. I'm gonna call you navy um, too. I thought it'd be really cute with just like a basic white tee with some blue jeans, some cognac shoes, oh my God, shut your mouth. some cute sunnies, and you got your little tote. It's the statement bag for sure. It's real cute. I love so it. it's Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, that was a steal. Okay, next is something that is. I would say kind of out of my comfort zone because I am not super happy about my lower body, like my butt and hips and thighs. Although somebody on one of our Instagram photos said, I want her physique, I want her hair, I want everything. And I was like, oh my God, Was thank that the you one so where you were like standing recently? Yes, this one? Yes. yes. And they wanted my bag and it just made me Aww. really happy because like full body pictures make me really uncomfortable. I'm not 100% with my body. And I, I love that like- but What I will say is, and this is, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. The, if you had to pick a physique that you wanted, most people would want a smaller upper half and up a donk a donkey bottom. Okay, but I struggle so much with pants because just saying to fit over. Who wants to be like, yeah, my stomach's my biggest part and my arms. I mean, whatever. But oh, she got those big, sexy arms. Not saying anything against them, but I'm just saying, like, out of preference, have, I am the one. We with have the opposite. Arms. So I am like smaller arms, smaller upper body, and I'm pear shaped. Okay, so I've got bigger hips, bigger butt, bigger thighs. 
and in jeans it's a struggle because if it fits my hips and thighs and butt, it's too big on my waist. I almost feel like I'm borderline triangular. <laughs> like, because like, I don't feel like my, my midsection is really that big. Right. I feel like I just have bigger arms and a smaller waist and like no hip, but, but I've gotten hips over the years. I'm slowly going into an hourglass. My struggle with pants is that when they don't fit me in the waist, I'm constantly struggling to pull my pants up. And that I've decided is what it is. Like it will not fit my waist. You know how you struggle to get your pants fitting in your knees? Yeah. But you don't struggle to pull your pants up as much as I do. No. Every single pair. No, because I squeeze my little butt into size slightly smaller than so you. So it'll fit your knees. So it'll fit my knees. It's usually, I'm usually more, I mean, I'm pulling them up, but they're usually almost like muffin top. I've always been the one that's got the big gaps at the back of my now, jeans. Now, I have a problem with gaps at the back of my jeans on a lot of brands. American Eagle is one of the only jean brands that doesn't gap on me. Yeah. And that actually fits my knees. It's Please tell me a brand like American Eagle that I can wear. So these are Kenzie jeans. See, 27 is four. So 26 Six is and two. two. Which you wear two at American Thank Eagle. You. These are regularly $68, and I got them for $24.99. And when I was in the dressing room, I was like, Steph, kind of uncomfortable in these jeans. She I was said, like, do it, Nike. Even if you only wore them one time it would be fun and worth $24. I don't totally agree with like $25 for like one outfit one time, but I think you I think you wear them more than one. I but, hope so. I mean, I think they're fun. They're really fun. They're these skinny crop with a floral embroidery. Slash, I said take them home and try them on and see what you think in your own home and then bring them back if you don't like them. Yeah, they're a pretty good fit. I do know that there's a, a good brand. There's a little bit of like pulling up, but like I said, almost <laughs> unavoidable for me with denim. I just struggle to make all the bits fit. Actually, if you guys, yeah, if you guys know, I feel like I need a curvy fit denim. Good American. That is a smaller waist. Have you tried Good American? I haven't, but maybe I should. Are they expensive? I don't even know. They're Chloe, they but they're are. Chloe's jeans. And the whole thing is that they're supposed to be good I mean, for like. They have like the biggest butts with the tiniest waists. Like it's mm. got to be accommodating for that, you know, like right? Hundred and, wait, I don't know if that's it. Like 160. Oof. You might can catch them on sale though. Also can't do a lot of rippy bits because with my thighs, I mean, Holds it's- Holds them apart like, kind of like that? It's poochy. That's, that's a skinny girl in hers are coming it's through. It's poochy. It's not cute. Well, I don't really like that either, but I ordered a pair of like knocked out knee ones because I don't mind my knees. The knocked out, I hate my knees. The knocked out knee, like I tried to like tie the um, frayed bits together. So your knees wouldn't come so, out? Yeah. Oh my God, it's not cute, it's not cute. I like the knocked out knee They're pudgy. 27. So that's what $100 got me, and that's what $100 got Stephanie. $110 got me. Technically, with, with this bodysuit that I'll just, I'll show you. I'll just I'll show, show you. you. But I haven't technically tried it on because I only wanted to bring 10 things in the dressing room. So I've never tried this on and I don't know how it's what? gonna fit. You don't even know. I don't even know. But it was only $10, it was $9.99. And I got a medium because I figured, you know, body suits, you don't want them to be too fitted and tight. But I do you. also you guys, I hate clipping these in because I feel like I'm wearing a swimsuit, but at least it's, you know, I can wear it. I thought you did try it on because you said it wasn't clipped. I tried the purple one on. Ah. The purple one was Okay, yeah. With this bodysuit, my total is like 104.53 after tax. Mine was so. like 110, but I also bought the Abercrombie tank top, which is $4. So yeah. it was like, I was like around a 115-ish mark. Right. And you were like a 105. So like we stayed around $100. Yeah. Okay guys, that's what we got. We would love to know what other videos you'd like us to go do like $100 gets me here, or $100 gets me there, or I buy the cheapest thing here. Or some more duper don'ts, or some how not to wear oh, my makeup. I saw a comment where I, someone said, said they wanted more yeah. duper don'ts. And then so. I do want to do how not to makeup. I, you know, I think it could be a fun, just like complete random throw in video for it's the week. It's always a good time. I have not put terrible makeup on my face in a hot time. Your face is craving it. Yeah, it needs some creativity on it. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed with all the notifications. Yeah. And check uh, out our vlog channel and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. All She's the just links. taking it all out of me. I all just the links down there. Got it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys in the video super soon. We sure dang will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Ah, that's throwback. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, well, this is the first one we've done, so. We'll give you a haul video that you can click on on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click the video on the left. And if you still haven't subscribed, what do they need to do, Seth? Click that circular channel icon and it'll sub you right up.